it's difficult to picture a time before Dubai's skyline existed. Today, new architectural marvels adorn the city practically annually, proving that it still does. The exceptional level of security, healthcare, and education in Dubai, as well as the limitless chances for tourism and shopping, living, working, or simply taking a holiday in this city is a dream. However, there weren't always modern structures and skyscrapers. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the present ruler of Dubai, is the man who transformed the desert region from a fishing village into a financial powerhouse that serves as a playground for the affluent. He saw the British give up control of the Seven Emirates and shape Dubai into what it is today. And as he accelerated the city's development quickly, he accumulated wealth that was unimaginable to us. And today, we're going to look at the way of life of Dubai's richest family. Before we continue, be sure to hit the bell symbol and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video. The reigning family of Dubai, United Arab Emirates, is the Al Maktoum family, and needless to say, they live a life unmatched by anyone else's. Sheikh Mohammed, the current Prime Minister and ruler of Dubai, has a net worth of $18 billion. He is in charge of the international investment firm Dubai Holdings. He established Emirates Airlines, as well as Al Maktoum International and Dubai International Airports. If you've ever had the good fortune to make a stopover in Terminal 3 of Dubai International Airport, you already know that it's a luxury shopping center and hotel combined with a spa and a fitness center. He has earned his riches with a portfolio like that and wisely invested it in an outstanding array of assets outside the Middle East. He is the owner of Monaco's La Belle Epoque penthouse. The three-bedroom, 17,500-square-foot duplex penthouse has a theater, recreational rooms, a media room with convertible chairs into beds, a double-height library, expansive roof terraces, and an infinity pool. Even a panic room with reinforced glass and security cameras exists. The Sheikh paid a stunning $8 million for everything, which is certainly a drop in the ocean for him. He also owns a 63,000-acre estate in Scotland, with a manor with 14 bedrooms and a guest house with 16 bedrooms. Over 30 years ago, this property was purchased for $2.5 million, or roughly $5.5 million now. A $60 million investment that allowed him to indulge in one of his favorite hobbies was the purchase of Dalham Hall in the UK. Racing horses sing to say Sheikh Mohammed loves horses is an understatement. He often skipped meals as a young man studying in Cambridge to save money for a train ticket to go watch horse racing. Later in 1996, he inaugurated the Dubai World Cup for horse racing. It should come as no surprise that he controls the largest horse breeding enterprise in the world, given his prominence in both international thoroughbred horse racing and breeding. Stu Darley on the outskirts of Newmarket, Suffolk. Darley Stud is located exactly adjacent to Dalham Hall and cost him $500 million. Darley Stud maintains the racing activities of Sheikh Mohammed and other members of the Maktoum family, in addition to developing stallions for racing. In addition, he is the owner of Kentucky's Gainsborough Stud. It was formerly Sheikh Maktoum bin Rashid's Al property. After his death, Sheikh Mohammed combined it with a Darley Stud of his own. His official abode in Dubai, the $400 million Sheikh Mohammed Palace, often known as the Zorba or Palace, is a little closer to home. It is about six kilometers outside of the boundaries of Dubai and is encircled by the magnificent buildings that make up the city's skyline. Otto Bullard, who also created the clock tower in Dubai, was responsible for its design. Peacocks and well-kept, verdant gardens surround the palace. You can tour the grounds if you're ever in Dubai, but keep your distance. This place has fairly strict security. The Sheikh is frequently seen in his automobile or simply walking about the city. He or one of his sons may frequently be seen driving this recognizable Mercedes G63 AMG, a favorite of the Dubai Police Department and the royal family. Without taking into account the specialized work created just for his convoy, this car cost roughly $260,000. In reality, the Sheikh owns a collection of nearly 100 vehicles. But what else would you anticipate of a royal from Dubai? BMW, Rolls-Royce, Mercedes, Benz, Ferraris, and even some historical vehicles are included in the collection. The New Devil is also his property. The 2017 Dubai International Motor Show saw the launch of 16 vehicles. Its estimated price is $2.2 million, and it is made of a body made of extremely strong and lightweight carbon fiber. With a top speed of 560 km per hour, 347 miles per hour, it is rumored to be the fastest car in the world as of 2020, but he usually spends his free time on his yacht, which he essentially built from scratch. 
rather than driving around the city or racing thoroughbreds. The floating dock on the yacht Dubai, which Andrew Winch created, was shipped by the Blue Marlin via Turkey. At this time, the yacht is docked in front of the Sheikh's private islands. A helipad, 210-meter motorboats, a dining area with seating for 90 people, and a 10-meter swimming pool are all features of the yacht. Additionally, it contains a squash court, a lobster tank, a submarine, 20 water bikes, and a cinema. In essence, you wouldn't need to leave the yacht. It can accommodate 88 crew members and 115 guests, though, and the Sheikh spent $300 million on an eight-deck, 631-foot luxury ship. Of course, many of these comforts are also enjoyed by his children. The oldest of Sheikh Mohammed's 23 offspring is the most well-liked in the nation. In fact, all across the world. Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Crown Prince of Dubai, serves as Dubai's deputy ruler, as well as the UAE's Minister of Finance and Industry. Similar to his father, with a $400 million net worth, Sheikh Hamdan also enjoys horse racing, and in 1981 he opened his first racing stable in the UK, Shadwell Racing. With 200 royally bred mares and elite stallions, he currently controls eight stud farms around the world. He also has a sizable automotive collection at home. Although perhaps not as remarkable as his father's, his golden car collection alone is worth $59.6 million in total. And you did hear that correctly. The Prince of Dubai owns a vast array of gold-plated automobiles. It contains an $845,000 Porsche 918 Spider. However, it is promised to us that the same car costs up to millions in gold. A Lamborghini Aventador, which typically sells for around $2 million. A Mercedes G63 AMG, which typically sells for about $300,000. A Range Rover Evogue, two Rolls Royce, a Nissan Godzilla, a GTR, a Bugatti, and a Ferrari. All of which are made entirely of pure gold are also included. Despite this, he doesn't merely indulge in expensive automobiles and racehorses. He regularly visits the autism center, donates blood, supports numerous animal welfare charities, and even takes part in marathons and yoga competitions held in Dubai. He founded the Prince Hamden Charitable Foundation and has contributed more than $20 million toward the construction of medical facilities for international relief efforts. Even with their extravagant lifestyle, the Al Maktoum family maintains a very humble demeanor. They frequently wander around their city unaccompanied and engage in social interactions. This, of course, is also a testimonial to the safety in the nation and to how much the people there love the family. Can you imagine any other royal family in another nation doing that? In order to improve Dubai's fortunes, Sheikh Mohammed devised the Vision 2021 strategy back in 2010. This plan centered on cultivating innovation, including the youth investing in health education and scientific research, as well as building strong governance. This interview will explain why he said, I want our people to live better lives now, not after 20 years. When asked why he was in such a rush to create Dubai, when this type of work would typically take someone over 20 years, with such a burning passion, it is understandable why he is one of the most influential and wealthy people in the world. I guess that's all. If you haven't already for Dubai's wealthiest family, please ring the notification bell and click the subscribe button. We'll be returning shortly with another luxurious themed video. We appreciate your interest and hope to see you again soon.